Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this... Thanks Doug. Up next in the news for this week is a very interesting paper that has investigated the increase in mammalian brain size after the end Cretaceous extinction, explaining how mammals have the biggest brain to body size ratio of all living vertebrates. The research states that it was once thought that this large brain size had arisen early on in the evolution of mammals, with the size of this organ gradually increasing in various lineages over time. However, this new work finds that, actually, early placental mammals decreased in relative brain size just after the KPG extinction, since their body mass underwent a significant increase at this time. Then, later on in the Eocene, various different mammal lineages independently evolved relatively bigger brain sizes. The researchers hypothesized that this initial body size increase was due to survivors of the extinction filling newly empty niches, while the later brain size increases were the result of saturated ecosystems and intensifying competition between organisms. Also in the news is the description of a new sample of exceptionally preserved dinosaur skin, from a late Cretaceous aged Edmontosaurus found in Saskatchewan. Skin samples from this hadrosaur have been found before, with so-called mummified specimens preserving almost the entire skin covering of the dinosaur and telling us a lot about the scale structure of the animal. However, this new specimen shows a previously unknown scale type, referred to as corrugated scales. The sample, which likely comes from the pelvic region of the dinosaur, therefore expands the morphological diversity of scales known from Edmontosaurus, as well as demonstrating that there was actually quite a bit of variation in the integument between individuals of this species. Interestingly, this individual is actually significantly smaller than the maximum adult size seen in other Edmontosaurus specimens, even though it was apparently fully grown at the time of death, suggesting variability in adult body sizes too. And finally for this week is the incredibly exciting announcement of the new documentary series Prehistoric Planet. It's really awesome to finally see some footage of this exciting project, and it's even better than any of us could have hoped for. Narrated by none other than Sir David Attenborough, scored by Hans Zimmer, produced by John Favreau, and with paleontological advisors including Dr. Darren Naish, it should be no surprise that this documentary is looking as good as it is. The series is coming to Apple TV Plus and is apparently going to be a week-long event, lasting from the 23rd to 27th of May, and is going to focus on life during the Cretaceous period. From what we've seen so far, the emphasis of this documentary really does seem to be on portraying dinosaurs and other prehistoric organisms as actual, real animals just going about their daily lives, something that I'm really looking forward to seeing. The animation also looks absolutely phenomenal, and the attention to detail and efforts to make these animals as accurate as possible according to our current understanding is like nothing I've ever seen before. This series really does seem like it's going to be the sequel to Walking with Dinosaurs that we've all been hoping for since it aired over 20 years ago. I seriously can't wait for it. Go and have a look at the trailers that have been released so far if you haven't already, they look fantastic. Anyway, back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it. See ya. <laughs>